Hey, what is up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today. We're going to be coming up sooner than later about WrestleMania time. WrestleMania 35 coming up around the corner. Uh, new, I was about to say New Orleans. I'm so used to it after WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 34. This one's going back to the home of WrestleMania 29. New York City, MetLife Stadium there in New Jersey. Um, you know, they're going to make a spectacle of it. It was announced that uh, WrestleMania Access is going to be taking place in Brooklyn. One of the main reasons why I don't fuck with WrestleMania in New York is they're just going to spread this thing around everywhere. I know that you guys that are, that are East Coasters, that uh, are used to taking the subway, used to taking buses, used to doing this, that, and the other to get where you guys need to get to go. You know, from a guy from California going out there in New York, uh, trying to figure that out, no way in the world. I know that Ravi went there for WrestleMania 29. He was able to get everywhere he needed to get to. Um, I know that there's a story. You can get it out of him. You can get it out of him where they were supposed to, you know, take a limo to uh, the Hall of Fame. The limo never came. Um, and they had to find another way to get there. Um... You know, that that's that's between you and him. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I don't know. I haven't been to WrestleMania in a few years, but there was never even a question if I was going to go to WrestleMania 35. Uh, this year, um, the main event, I, I think, is, is, is not yet to be determined. Um, for a little over a year, it was very, really rumored that uh, a lot of people thought that the women... Um, we're going to be in the main event, and it looks like one of the main angles that there is is Ronda Rousey against Becky Lynch. Um, there's also Seth Rollins against Brock Lesnar. Honestly, in my opinion, Brock is always going to be one of the main guys in WWE. Um, to me, I know that you know there's this question, is he going to leave? Is he going to fight for UFC? Honestly, if he goes and fights Daniel Cormier between now and um, WrestleMania, to me it'll be a little bit of a surprise um, because you got the factor of, you know, what if he loses and what that means to WWE. Honestly, I think there's a payday um, for Brock Lesnar in WWE. Um, I think he's going to make it. Uh, it doesn't matter to me win, lose, or draw. Um, there's been a lot of time in between that Daniel Cormier, Brock Lesnar face-off um, in the UFC octagon. Uh, that you know, I think the story's still out there. I think that's a fight that uh, UFC wants to have, but um, uh, you know. I don't know. To, to me, honestly, I know that you got the whole USADA thing for, for uh, his um, suspension uh, to come off the books. But uh, I think that honestly, even if he did have the suspension, they would announce the fight if it, the fight was going to happen. Um, you know, just make it the day after the suspension ends or, you know, the first fight that comes up. Um Brock Lesnar, surprisingly, is going to show up um, to WrestleMania as the WWE Universal Champion. Um, you know, the, the, the year that Brock has had, um, where we thought he was leaving so many times, uh, is, is to me, honestly, really surprising that he is showing up to WrestleMania as champion. But, um, you know, especially after last year, we all thought that it was sort of the passing of the torch from Brock Lesnar to Roman Reigns, only for us to see Brock beat him. And then we go, well, honestly, they're just going to go do this whole World's Greatest Royal Rumble. And Roman's going to beat him there. And Brock beat him again. <laughs> Only for Roman to finally beat him at SummerSlam. And here we are at WrestleMania 35. And Roman isn't even in the picture. And, um, you know, Seth goes on. Seth becomes a new guy in WWE. He's been the guy really having the best matches in WWE for the last, I guess, really since he came back. From his injury after he after he missed WrestleMania 32, um, he's sort of been that main guy. Now he's just finally getting the tip of the hat and the attention. Um, Seth Rollins was was one of the favorites to win the Royal Rumble. Um, it seemed like they sort of cooled him off um, right before the Rumble to the point where I wasn't even picking him to win it, and then surprisingly, he does. And he's going to be headlining WrestleMania. Um, this is going to be his first real main event 
of WrestleMania, um, with him going after the championship against Brock Lesnar. Um, of course, you go back to WrestleMania 31 um, in San Jose. He crashed the party um, with the money in the bank. He was the first guy to really use the money in the bank the way that it was first intended when it was dreamt up at, at WrestleMania 21, um, where people said that you would hold on to the Money in the Bank briefcase and you'd cash it in to become the main event at WrestleMania. But, you know, people kept on having moments, um, whether if it was on the very same show they would win it, or on a Raw, or on a SmackDown, or on some random pay-per-view, um, where they would have a better moment to cash it in to become WWE Champion, thinking that if they were champion, they would hold it until WrestleMania, and very few people um, were able to, to actually hold on to it that long, so... Um, you know, tip of the hat uh, to Rollins. Uh, main eventing his first WrestleMania. He honestly really does deserve it. Uh, but now there's stories that, you know, Brock and Seth have their first face off on Monday Night Raw, and Seth is injured. Um, because of it, and many people think that Seth is not going to be getting physical or having any matches until WrestleMania um, to try and get him healthy. And it seems like a lot of people are going to be limping into WrestleMania um, with injuries. Uh, you know, a lot of times people are able to miss WrestleMania because of injuries. And this one, WWE is going to be really, really just hoping uh, to get them injury free enough. To be able to go through the match, to me, honestly, um, from watching the WWE um, 24, um, where they they showed what Seth Rollins went through after his last injury and missing WrestleMania 32, I think there's no way in the world that Seth is going to miss WrestleMania 35. Um, if he wins, th that's a whole nother bag. I mean, like, it makes the most sense for Seth Rollins. Uh, to beat Brock Lesnar, but if Brock hasn't had that fight against Daniel Cormier, especially if, if that fight is announced, why is Vince not going to want to have his WWE Universal Champion go into a fight against Daniel Cormier, where he has a chance to win the WWE, I'm sorry, win the UFC World Heavyweight Championship and be a double champion? Why are you going to throw that away? Um, I know that Rollins won the Rumble. Rollins is like your number one guy in the company having these great matches. But uh, I think if you have that chance to have that double champion, even if people like me are sick of Brock Lesnar, I think you go for it. So that's what makes this a hard one. I think as a fan, I'm hoping that Seth Rollins gets the win because it's not even like heat that, that I don't like Brock Lesnar, so I boo him. It, it is just basically... I'm sick of Brock Lesnar being the champion, not being on Monday Night Raw. I got a thousand reasons why I don't really watch Raw that much. And one of them really is the fact that the champion doesn't even fucking show up on the show. Um, and uh, I think that's one of the things that I was hoping for um, when Vince, Stephanie, Triple H, and Shane showed up on Raw and said they were going to try and make this better and they were going to fix it. They haven't fixed anything. And it's been like two months since that December episode of Monday Night Raw. So it is what it is. I mean, we're all going to sit here right now. I mean, I'm, I'm making plans. I'm going to watch The Chamber. I know I'm going to watch WrestleMania. Probably won't watch a Raw or a SmackDown in between. Um, but, uh, you know, 10 bucks on the network. Why not? And that's what keeps the money rolling into WWE. And that's probably one of the reasons why they're never going to change. And uh, we'll see. I think we're rolling into a WrestleMania where it's going to be pretty... Maybe I was going to say predictable, but that's not really the word I was looking for. Just pretty so-so. Just like every show they've had for the last forever. So I hope Rollins gets the win. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised Brock keeps that belt.